as he is going to be going up against Marcus Ernst. This guy has just been a load. All Ohio Valley Conference, and looking back to uh, Southern Illinois, Edwardsville, and a good start as a strikeout there for Sura Way. And was one of the big reasons why he was preseason all Big Ten. But right now, the story is Kenny Sura. What a start as he goes back to back. The one two pitch. One, two, three, and they're all K's. Kenny Sirwa, some kind of beginning here for a Tuesday night. After wants to do with that pitch. 6'1, 225, and what an off speed pitch. Just pool holes way out in front. Finally getting a victory in the Big Ten. They were picked fifth as this ball chopped to short. Sturmecki trying to beat it out, but. Drew Reckard over to throw to Desenzo and a 1 2 3 inning. This team, a senior. Swing and a miss. And the fourth punch out for Dayton's number one. Here will be Tyler Petterini. And he puts a charge in it, but it is right to Jake Silverstein. And another 1 2 3 inning for the Dayton Flyers. In front of Martinez 0 2. And softly hit to the right side. Desenzo, does he have enough room? Yes, he does. Really nice play uh, around that tarp. And sure, and, and being a prospect as Calero lays one down and Garen a strong throw. And how about that? He is fired up and rightfully so as he stays perfect. And mm, a place to bring the whole family. 3 2 pitch misses high, and Reckart is on. See his pitch count there on your screen, and he gets Ernst for the second time tonight. Another K for number one. In a little bit of a slump. See so this, this one high, and this could be another quick inning for Jacob Guerin. Wow. They wanted three innings out of him, and he's got that for him, and I would expect some more. Really hot to close out 2021. And that's what he's able to do. He, he is a, he's really strong up at the plate and they are able to take it the other way. Hey, but that comes after a huge weekend. And chance for a double play here. Four, six, three. Kenny Sarah getting Trey Lipsy to ground to Ben Jones and Keegan Calero turns it. it is impressive because he's got some speed. This one hit sharply to short. And Calero throws that into the netting. So Kate Kearns is going to find his find himself at second base. And they the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Number six for Kenny Serwa. Went here tonight and playing a day air ballpark. Ball in the dirt, and it's a strikeout. But Dayton's going to have their first base runner aboard. And how about that? You want to know how well it's going for Jacob Guerin. And I guess it's not a, it's a moment that he's not going to like, but you know, Dayton going to run and test that arm of Brookman. And Flyers able to swipe a bag. So Henry Sturmecki gets his fourth stolen base of the season. Trying to get out of the fourth. And I think he's going to be able to do just that. Lifted high to short. Reckart is under it, and Dayton is done here in the fourth. Rocks the Canadian flag on his helmet as he's down on strikes. Another outstanding pitch there from Serwa. He's got uh, that ability in his right arm. As this one through the right side, and Ohio State's got their second hit of the night off of Mitchell Oakley. But pitch itself was in a great location. And it comes right back at him. Serwa able to bat it down and underhand over to first. Wow, we have seen some pitching here tonight. In the air, and it's that's a tough pitch to lay off. But this one there. hit deep to left, and Dayton's on the board. Keegan Calero touch them all. The Flyer fans love it. And Dayton, we were talking about looking for their first hit. It's a big one. Absolutely. Look at that. We'll take another look at this one. But you see the crowd in the background. Calero getting them pumped up. And what an outstanding piece of hitting there. And just really sends the crowd going wild. 
great look there from our crew into the dugout. Got the got the hat in there, and then it's yeah, it's some home run. <laughs> it's a party. Keegan Galero able to been called upon. Saw him there warming up, number 19, and getting Neff a couple of times now. Off the end of the bat, oh, it would have been a double play had he caught it, but still a nice play from the freshman as he was able to stay with it, and he throws out Silverstein. Then that's, you know, in the low 70s. Case and point. Garing, a fantastic showing, but Keegan Calero goes deep. It was done an outstanding job against one of the better hitters in the country. And here he is at work as he drives this one to left center. And what a play, Henry Sturmecki. You can tell how much uh, he's had him off balance. Here's what an outstanding pitch that was. Strike three called on the outside corner. Got great speed. But you know who else has got great speed? Kenny Sarwa, number one, doing it for Dayton on a Tuesday night from Baird. Jones hits this sharply to short. It'll be a tough play, and it actually goes out into left field. And did that hit him? It did. As Pujols moves to first away. Well, this is strange from our home plate umpire before you know the hands went up to call time and a great look there from our from our production yeah. guys and now they're saying that it did hit pool holes he will be given first base and jones will be at second Definitely still lots of work to do though this one gets away and oh the flyer is going to be moving up Curtis trying to find the second run for Dayton, and he's got it. Maybe even the third. This one out in the right field. Pujols around third, and Dayton on top. 3-0. Jay Curtis, a two-RBI single. Really just a huge moment there for Curtis. What a great piece of hitting, taking that ball the other way and really changing the trajectory of this game. in as Ben Jones Marcos Pujols able to get on and Jay Curtis brings him in and how about the atmosphere on this one run his last time up here working and he gets himself a walk wow he earned that one <laughs> no kidding the one two from the North Royalton native he's able to strike out Neff and the innings over but the Flyers Get two well, from this start, and, and obviously the night's not over for Searle, but 10 strikeouts now, and you just sort of <laughs> you scratch your head. And you also had some uh, terrific games. Totus lifts this one deep to left. Stermecki's bag, it's off the wall. It'll be fielded by Martinez, doing a nice job of getting that ball in. But a one-out double for Brent Totus. 1-1, one, one. Serwa coming home, and this is shot up the middle. Ben Jones not able to make the play. And staying at third will be Totus. And Ohio State, two on and one out. First base. Here's the one, two. <laughs> Strike three called. Kenny Serwa, 11 Ks. And the right-hander here with the one, two. Maloney. Fakes the throw and new pitch from Serwa. It's chopped to the right side. Pujols with his new glove has got it and he makes the tag. And that'll be the third out of the inning. Whoa. Kenny Serwa, have a night. So Funk here trying to work a perfect seventh and Jones able to send one out in the left and it's a two hit game for Dayton's number six. Yeah, back to back. Block O. And this one in the dirt. Did it hit him again? Oh my goodness. Oh my. Really, the the same situation that we saw <laughs> looking back to the sixth. The life replay of that play. Mr. Mecky hits this one a mile into the sky. And under it is Kern for the final out.
Day Minus just one air and uh, strike three called. Zapka able to get Ernst down on strikes for the third time tonight. The 0 2, strike three. Zapka feeding off of Kenny Zerba. And Dayton's pitching has been fantastic. Team that was able to make it to the championship game a year ago. Into this game. Oh, this one hit well and deep to left. Home run. Jose Martinez. it out to left got more shirts off but it's it's a party here at Dayer ballpark and what a swing there from martinez his teammates absolutely mobbing him in the dugout you hear it sounds like they're in your living room here but the left the righty i should say gets every bit of that one and this one if not for the fence we'd see our second one the zero would would be huge for jason king's pitching staff this one chopped to third and Ernst unable to make the throw as that one got away. And Silverstein will be in at second. So the inning continues. Almost feel like it's a sure thing on that left side as Maloney hits this one to left and it's over the head of Lipsy and that will be an RBI double for the Dayton catcher. Six nothing UD. Just another line shot off the bat of Maloney back in the seventh. He lined out to center field, but it took a great play from the center fielder Kern just to keep him off the bases. But Maloney wasn't going to be denied on that one. That was a rocket off the bat of the left-hander, taking it the other way. Just a great piece of hitting there with two outs and give the Flyers even more of a cushion here. Six nothing now in the bottom of the eighth. You know, and Maloney, who has been in a bit of a slump in the midweek game. And he'll face Ben Jones, Jones on Jones, and this one's lifted high and with one pitch, one out. That uh, just the one out that he was able to get. Ooh, that one hurts. That one did not feel good. As Lipsy takes one on Lipsy at first, comes home and ripped out in the left field to be current. So Buckeyes with their first two on here in the ninth in Ohio State. I mean, Sura. As this one hit out to center, Martinez will go over and make the grab. Staying at it's retired across all Major League Baseball. Pettorini able to hit a lightning bolt to right, but running it down was Silverstein. And that's another loud out for Ohio State. They've had a couple of them here. It really has been special. The one-two pitch, it is chopped to Curtis at third. Pujols able to grab it. Dayton the winner. He's the Buckeyes six to nothing. 